Hello students, let us start with the next module of this chapter, Probability Distribution. In this module, we are going to study random experiment and random variable. So let us start with random experiment. Here, consider tossing a coin. Yes, when you toss a coin, what are the possible outputs? So I can say the possible outcomes are head or tail. Similarly, when I consider another example, like throwing a dice. When you throw a dice, the possible outcomes, what can be the possible outcome? Yes, the possible outcomes are either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. Now, you should observe here something. Yes, what did we observe here regarding outcomes? Yes, we observed here that the outcomes were not fixed. That is, they had more than one possible value. So this gives us the definition for a random experiment. An experiment which has more than one possible outcome is called as a random experiment. Let us move further and learn about random variable. The definition of random variable goes like this here. A variable x which is assigned values from the set of real numbers r based on the outcome of sample space of a random experiment is called random variable. So I can denote x like this variable x it is nothing but the values which is assigned from set of real numbers r to the sample space s. So moving further let us try to understand this with an example here. Here two unbiased coins are tossed simultaneously let the random variable x describe the number of tails. Find range of x. So the solution here goes as follows. First of all, we require sample space s. Now to find out the sample space, consider two coins thrown. The first outcome came out to be h h that means both heads. Now when the coin was tossed for the second time, we got the output as h t that is first coin showed me heads and the second coin showed me tail. Now for the third time, the outcome was tails, heads and for the fourth time when the coins were tossed, the outcomes were t, t that means both the coins showed up as tails. So this is my sample space and the outputs will be from these space only, these elements only. Now let x be the number of tails obtained in a toss. The table showing outcome of s and related value of x is as follows. The table here is drawn the first part outcome of s and the second part is random variable x. So the sample space is as follows hh, the next is ht, the next is th and the last one is tt. Now what we observe here there are no tails that means zero tails. So random variable x is zero. It is nothing but number of tails. In the second part we have only one tail that means random variable x has value as 1. Similarly, in the third part, we have one tail. This means random variable x is 1. And in the last part, we observe that there are two tails. So the random variable x is 2. So here, x takes the values either 0, 1 or 2. Therefore, I can say range of x is 0, 1, 2. Let us understand random variable more clearly. Random variable are of two type. The first type is discrete random variable and the second type is continuous random variable. Starting with discrete random variable. It takes only countable values or whole numbers. That is x is equal to either 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. Now the example can be like this number of heads when you toss a coin, number of children in a family and so on. There are many other examples. Moving to continuous random variable. Here it takes all real values. That is it includes decimal as well. Example weight, height, temperature of a place, lifespan of an object etc. So here what we can summarize is, if the quantity is countable, we can term it as discrete random variable and if it is measurable, we can term it as continuous random variable. 
So let us study these further with the help of some examples. Moving to the question here, identify random variables as either discrete or continuous in each of the following situations. Also write the range wherever it is possible. The first question is as follows. A page in a book can have at most 300 words. X is number of misprints on a page. So the solution goes as follows. Here, number of misprints, that means we can count number of misprints on a page. Therefore, the given value for X is countable. Countable means discrete random variable. Moving further, here we require range of this. So range is 0 to 300. That means the page can have zero printing mistake and at the most 300 printing mistakes. So this is the range for X. Let us take another example here. A player goes to gymnasium regularly. X is reduction in his weight in a month. So the solution is like this. The weight has to be measured. That means we are talking about a measurable quantity. Therefore, it is a continuous random variable. Moving further to the next example, number of attempts required by a candidate to clear examination. The solution goes like this. Here, the number of attempts obviously can be counted. So therefore, it is a countable quantity. Countable means discrete random variables. So here, it is a discrete random variable. Now, we require to find out range of this here. So range is as follows. The range will be 1, 2, 3 and so on. This will be a finite set always. Moving further to the next example. 